What's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video we got some super exciting stuff happening right now early in the morning this guy is getting given away today we selected the winner and they're driving all the way from Wisconsin I think it's like a nine hour drive for them oh and then boom Marty look at him he's we're at ultimate truck right now we are picking up the ducks giveaway side by sides before we jump into it too much yes I am giving away this is my personal four-wheeler this was the first four-wheeler I ever bought honestly it breaks my heart to give it away I love this thing I mean this thing was an absolute beauty I mean we've got the pew racks on it the only thing is uh yeah, the hood got left at the ranch, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and mail it to the winner here, but we are at Ultimate Truck. We are meeting the winners here. They're taking the ATV, and we are picking up the side-by-side. -side. We are finally announcing, we are giving away the side-by-side -side for the Duck Shirt of the Month Club. In the past three years, we've given away two boats and the tank. Every year we step it up. The first year we gave away a boat, it was like $18,000. The second year we gave away a boat, it was like $20,000. Last year we gave away the tank, that's like $30,000. This year, we're giving away the side-by-side, which in total, thanks to Marty's help, is now over the $40,000 threshold. $40,000 for an off-road vehicle. You could buy a really nice car for that. But instead, we decided to put $40,000 into a side-by-side. -side. And we will go over more of the key features, especially all the lights and stuff, when we get back, when it's dark. This is absolutely crazy. So, as you guys know, Toby, my buddy Toby, he brought it up from Texas, delivered it, and then I dropped it off at Marty's. And I'm like, let's take this thing and make it the best waterfowl rig you can possibly imagine. Like any Anything you could possibly want for duck hunting or just off-road vehicling, we wanted to do it. So, to give you guys a quick walkthrough, Marty, these are pods. Is that what you call these guys? We call them that. Pod lights. Yeah. So there was a little bar here. These are wide angle. Wide angle. Wide angle. Much okay. Better than that cheap eBay bar. Much yeah. better than the cheap eBay bar, he says. And then obviously it already came with the winch. This isn't new. This isn't new. Bam! Look at that giant light bar up there. Huge light bar for the front. So we will go over the lights as it gets darker. It's a little bit bright out here. And then on the inside, pew holders right here. You strap in. So you are literally strapped. Put the butt of the pew right there. Hold it in there. Internally, this is about all that we were able to get figured out for what do you need? I'm like, you don't really need anything on the inside. You just need a place to put your pews. And then boom, we've got a rack here with light bars. Look at the light bars right there. You can hang your decoys. Even right here, you put your flapper spinner wing poles. You stick those all the way down there. Boom, another light bar, folks. Look at that. And then boom, we got another light bar. We've also got lights under here. And we've got lights right here under. Like, so we will go over the light. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Shoo! The boys are here to pick up the ATV. So, like I said, we'll go over this a little bit more in depth, but if you guys want to win this $40,000 side-by-side, all you have to do is click the link down in the description down below. Sign up for the Duck Shirt of the Month Club. Every single month, your sign up is an entry to win. So if you stay signed up for six months, you're automatically entered six times. It will be linked down below. Our biggest giveaway yet, $40,000 side-by-side. Link down below. Check it out. Duck Shirt of the Month. So we'll go over it in depth once we get home. But for now, there's your new rig. Shoot, look, you're wearing the merch. Look at you. All you, all you that's, what, that's what got it. That's all you had to do was cop some merch. <laughs> and you're walking with a $10,000 side, or four-wheeler, not a side-by-side. -side. That's the side-by-side. -side. Four-wheeler, $10,000. Not a four wheeler. Can't go wrong with How long was that drive, boys? Eight hours. Eight, Eight hours? hours? In about nine with all the stuff. Really? <laughs> Sheesh. What time did you guys leave? Three. <laughs> Oh, they left at three. You I guys three are three hours of sleep last night. That was, uh, that's right. Uh, yeah, it's commitment. It's commitment. I mean, she. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and get her unloaded. Okay. So there's one issue. It kind of. Okay. I owe you a hood. Okay. Left it at the ranch. Ooh. I'll mail. I'll mail it to you. All right. It's, it works fine. All right. We'll figure that out. Right. No big deal. Yeah. So you turn. Yeah. You turn the key on the right side there, and then hold the brake. And then shift it into high low first. There you go. He gone. I hope this fits. Oh god. Oh god. That's a tight fit, buddy. You like, you like this? this is That's a tight fit. Ideal trailer. It's a strap there. It's, uh, they said five by eight on U-Haul. That's not a five by eight. I can guarantee that. That's a lie. They lied. What? I'm not sure about that. We're sending it. I mean, you can take those ramps off of there if yeah. you want. Yeah. You try to use those ramps. Oh, God. Look, the banjo's not here. If it gives out. Oh, God. Marty, what do you got here? You got help? I've seen this happen where it gives <laughs> out and it's so. bad. I'm just here for the entertainment. It's bad. You could use the winch. That way you're not on it. It'll pull itself oh, up. Really you won't flip it. Wrong. That's a good idea. <laughs> it depends how much idea. fun you're trying to have, but <laughs> I'd get her close and we'll run the winch out. Oh, my gosh. I'm not even sure. Like, Take your time. 
Alright, hold it right there. We're just oh. taking it apart and load it up in the trailer in the trunk. <laughs> Trap, I don't think you're gonna need ratchets. The friggin' tires will hold it in place. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright, you're good. Bring it in and then I'd hop off of it. We're making it happen. We're making it happen. Get it off. We'll turn it that way. There you go. We'll figure it out. We're all right in. She's set to go, boys. Oh, God, yeah. We're meant. I can't believe that worked. I couldn't get any closer. Look at that. Shout out U Haul. Wow. They didn't lie. U Haul wasn't lying, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, you got it. You got it. See you guys. Have fun. Don't roll like Banjo. Rip! I'm so sad. That's my favorite Ford. I love that thing. It was my first one. It just had a special place in my heart. But what does it say when a door closes, another one opens? I don't know if that applies here, but that's the next door, folks. Look at that sucker. And she it's open. It, it dad jokes. <laughs> Got one on the way, boys. Got one on the way. I'm already working on it. Well, we're gonna load this up. We're gonna take it home. So we'll do a little bit more in-depth, all the lights and all the features and stuff like that. Once we get back and can get it in the dark, you guys can really see what all the cool stuff Marty did. But huge shout out to Marty. You're here the plug. How many vehicles have you tricked up? My truck, my dad's truck, the mini truck, this, the golf cart. <laughs> Dude, every vehicle I have, you give it to Marty. Everything you touch just turns to gold. Look at this thing. Absolute duck killing machine. So huge shout out to Marty and we are headed back home. We'll see you guys there. Shoo! What is going on folks? We have made it to the ranch. We are ready to try to shoot a duck. I don't know if it's actually going to work or not to be honest with you, but come on Lucy girl. You've been waiting so patiently. Would you just throw that back up in there? You've been waiting so patient. Oh yeah. See, I knew you had to go pee. I'm glad you waited. That would have been a doozy, wouldn't it? Yep. So we are here at the ranch. We're going to try to get a duck down on the ground. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but we do have the brand spanking new giveaway duck shirt of the month side by side, ready to rock and roll. Today, we're really going to put it to the test, shining the lights down where we're going to put the decoys, utilizing the rack systems that we have on it to put all of our spinning wing holders on there, hanging the decoys, put the pew in the pew holder. And like I said, you'll see the lights kind of doing it, its thing here. So we're going to rig it out and outfit it completely. So that way you guys can see if you're a waterfowl hunter, I'm telling you. This is probably the first giveaway where I'm like, do we have to give this thing away though? Do we, can we, can we find something else? I'll be honest. I'm going to be pissed when I have to, I am going to give it away. Okay. One of you guys watching potentially, but it's outfitted so perfect for waterfowl hunting. I may just have to take my other side by side and copy this exactly to the T. So I've got one for myself once I do give it away. It's that cool. And, look, and we're twin you see we're matching here so anyways we are gonna get it unloaded set out here and we'll show you guys how to rig it all up to make it ready for waterfowl hunting and then we're gonna throw some decoys out i don't know if we're gonna get anything i mean the ranch isn't really designed for duck hunting we've seen some teal we've seen some wood ducks you can't shoot wood ducks today this is just early teal but we brought lucy girl because she's just so excited lucy you might be disappointed today i'm not gonna lie i'm not trying to downplay it or like not get your hopes up but it's just like it's the ranch it's a deer property and a duck property maybe it is what if it's just like low-key a sleeper we don't know so anyways let's get it taken off the trailer and get it loaded up you guys stay tuned. Shoo! Brighter than the surface of the sun, folks. Look at all these lights. This is cr look. The underwear, and these change colors too. Get an app on your phone. I can turn it into party mode and whatnot. We don't have time for that right now, but now you can actually. Lucy, go poop. Lucy. You, yep, it smells like it. Dude, this is insanely bright. And I think, isn't there some lights back in this thing? Bro, look at that. We got lights down here. We got lights everywhere. This is insane. Dude, I'm so stoked. Setting up decoys, look at the light you got. You can literally cast a light wherever you're putting decoys in front of you, behind you, on the side. It's literally 360 lighting. Anyways, we're gonna get everything unloaded. We'll show you what it looks like once it's all rigged up. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! Look at this guy. Look, we got it rigged up. We got decoys hanging, decoys hanging. Looking all good. We turned the light bars off so you can actually see, but look, they got places for your spinners. They hang out up there. You can obviously take the wings off if you're worried about them breaking out. Like we're gonna go through some trees, so we'll probably have to take the wings off, but most people are going in open fields and stuff. And there are spots for four of them on this side. And then we've got all of this stuff. We got ducks blind bag in here. We got some marsh seats, some other gear. Oh, and then my peel. Forgot to show you guys this. Check this out. And Lucy's in the back. She sold separately. Look at this. Bam! Pew holder. Look, it's strapped. It ain't going anywhere, boys. So you can put two pews in there. And since it's dark out, even though you've got really good lighting, you know, the tinted windows are tough to see. So you just do that, flip all your lights on, 
and now you can see. Oh, what's wrong with the? Oh, there, I was gonna say, it takes take some time now. There you go, now you got all the bars on. So, lights are on. We are gonna head out to the lake, the pond, the marsh. Hopefully we get something down on the ground, you guys stay tuned. Shoo, we made it, folks. Look at that. Sidebar, <laughs> look at this, dude. We're gonna set off right off this point. Like, I love, it. you can just pull up and literally just, boom, shine the light and know where to put your decoys. The, I have noticed the battery on the mule is not charged. Oh, it's, we're doing all right. So if you see light flickering, it's just because the battery is not charged. What we did is we, met, we were messing with batteries last night, or the lights with the, last night without running the engine. And so I think we're like on this last leg. So we got a little jumper pack just in case it does die. But if you see it flickering, that's why. Anyways, Lucy, come on, buddy. We made it to the marsh, buddy. Dude. There's a kegger out there I think you could grab. No. Oh, big chunky. See him right there? Oh, dude. What if we have teal on legs? I'm in. Lucy, no. Oh, wait, she might. Uh-oh, she might. Remember, we taught her oh, how to, yeah. we taught her how to, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, she would have grabbed it. She just it, tried, bro. <laughs> she, oh my God, she's gonna be a black lab when we are done. Wow. I was like, I forgot we taught her how to hunt though, so that almost was a botch. So <laughs> look at that. I love the lighting. No headlamps needed, folks. This is great. So we're gonna grab all the stuff, get ready to give it a dang. We got light going that way too. And there's there's a back actually, yeah, let me turn this backlight bar and then you guys can really see it lighting up this area. How much time we got before shooting light? Probably should figure that out next. Wow. How'd that go? Oh. <laughs> Did you get blinded by the light? I was reaching for the switch and that thing. Okay, yeah, I'll turn it off. I'll turn it off. It's too it's too bright. No, no, no. Just turn on the red lights. You don't have to turn on the red light tonight. You know that song? Boxing. You know? Oh, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to turn on the red light tonight. You know what I'm saying? You get it? Yeah, All right, anyways. Red light. Oh, let's get her set up. Shoo! Blinded by the light. Lucy, you are nasty. You're having way too much fun. We got the decoy set up. I don't know if you guys can really see all that, but they're out there somewhere. It's mud. It's brutal. It reminds me of the mud at the farm. Your feet cramp up when you walk in it. Oh, yeah. It's bad. The feet cramps get me every time. But we got spread out there. We got a dozen decoys and a spinner, a dozen decoys and a spinner. We always see the birds in this corner, right over in here. We'll wait and see. I think we've only got, dude, we only have like four minutes. Oh, wow. Can you believe that? <laughs> Let the games begin. <laughs> I got one at shooting time. Holy cow. Oh, one more. Come right in. Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Sniped, buddy. Sniped. Lucy, fetch. That was tough, dude. I couldn't hardly see him. I mean, I swatted this one. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Good girl. Look at that blue wing. Come here, girl. Catch up. All the way. Fetch. Fetch. Ugh. Little blue wang, baby. Nah, -uh. all done. Dude, they landed at 26, 27 with shooting light. Oh, yeah. I'm watching my phone. It turned 27, swung the barrel, and smoked them on the ground. <laughs> my second shot, I should have waited till they got up. Cause I only had one shot. You saw that last one yeah. I was shooting. That was getting there. Stop. Yeah. All done. We got a bird. It's dead. We got one more if you want to go find it, Luke. Wow. Talk about right at shooting light, buddy. Come here, Lucy. Come here. Sit. Sit. I even know where that one is. We'll find that one. That one got smoked. I had one shell in my <laughs> gun. You're like over top. Oh, one more. Come right in. Dude, at the range. What the hell? Let's go, Every dude. spot just fired. I was so nervous. Well, I was like trying to figure out what to do with my phone. I'm like, if I have it on my knee, it's going to fall when I shoot. So I'm like moving it to my pocket, praying they don't get off. That was insane timing. Like, I don't think I've ever had it where they landed one minute before and they stayed. Normally yeah. they leave. They always freaking leave, too. Bro, let's go, buddy. More woodies, I think. Sit. Those are all wood ducks. Can't shoot them. Sit. Those are wood ducks. We can't shoot those. Well, we got a bunch of woodies coming. They look pretty similar to you. You gotta be careful. Yeah. That's a woody. You see him? He went through the woods. That's how you know. No, that's, there's no one. So you know it's a wood dog and they start going flying through trees and yeah, you ain't see till do that. <laughs> we almost got excited. They came and I was like, oh, didn't see any blue on the wings, didn't see any green on the wings. They're a little bit bigger. Their necks are a little bit longer, especially when they're flying. You can see their necks are a little longer. Their heads are kind of like a circle shape, not quite as like skinny and narrow. <sighs> we got excited for a minute. Ooh, another wood dog. Right Lucy, that's a good girl. You didn't whine, you didn't scare him. I know you don't understand why we can't shoot him. He says, why aren't you pulling the trigger, my guy? 
All right, Lucy, you've gone through enough punishment. You've been watching all these woodies. So we're gonna go find the bird I shot. It's laying right back there somewhere. Catch up. You don't have a clue where it is, do you, buddy? Come on, good bird. Fetch up. I think it's further in there. Oh, wrong way. Come on, Lucy. This way. Hey, fetch. Now she should be getting close. She, her nose is getting it. Close. Now you're not close. Bah! That's not bad. Come on. Might be tough in this grass. Dead bird. Dead bird. You're going to have to use your nose on this one, buddy. Fetch up, dead bird. Dead oh. bird. She's hitting something. Fetch up. Fetch up. Fetch. Dead bird, Lucy, fetch. She's on it. Dead bird, fetch up. Fetch up. Here. Yep. Here. Bro, let's go. Come here, Rob. Look at that. Green wang. No good. Odds we found that without her? Zero. Zero. Sit. That was green wing. Berry. Yeah. yeah, little greeny. That's a little stud too. Sheesh. Love me a little green wing. No way we would have found that without her. None. Zero percent. When it falls, he goes through this grass. You have such a good nose. You have such a good nose. All right, better get back in case we get some more. Good. This is a reward. You got two birds, one tough one. We'll count it as one and a half. We're gonna celebrate with some donut holes. It's the only reason why she comes hunting with me, actually, is because I keep I gave her some pizza this morning, breakfast pizza. I was talking to Macy and she's like, dang, Lucy's real excited to go hunting all the time. Like, you know, all the, like more excited than usual. Like, well, you should see what I feed her. It all makes sense now. You know what doesn't make sense? I'll open this goddamn jar. Smarter than the box. Gotta be smarter than the box. Open it from the hinge side, you don't get very far in life. There you go. That's for getting the ducks, buddy. That's for shooting the ducks. I'm for filming the ducks. <laughs> bro, those are low-key good. For yeah. getting gas station, bro? Yeah. You only get one, you might get the sh All right. Oh, you want to see what I got? Also, ducks needs to come out with this. Collapsible bowl. Look at this. Even though there's a lake, I don't really want you drinking all the pond scum. That's the lake right there. Look at that. Look at that. I'm telling you, camo though. We gotta come up with a camo one. Drink the rest of it, buddy. Don't waste it, it's good water. Lucy's got some water. Ice cold chalky milk. I don't care if it's the middle of December and you're duck hunting. Mmm. Mmm. Only thing I messed up on, so I forgot the fanny pack today. Other than that, been a good day so far. No, no chalky milk. You're gonna die. You can't have that, buddy. Yeah, drink your water. So I'm not sure if we'll get any more. Honestly, pretty shocked that we got some or any at all. I might just sit back here. Yeah, it's nice. I kind of like not sitting in the water. Yeah. yeah. I might bump my chairs back and I might just sit in front of these little reeds. The mud is so sticky. It's nasty. I might bump our chairs back, come sit here, sit on dry land, eat some more donuts, drink some more chocolate milk, and maybe we'll get lucky and get another duck to fly by. You guys stay tuned. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's about what we've imagined, Lucy. We'd let you, well, I wouldn't say we let you down. She's doing good. The only reason we found that second one is because of her. So instead of wasting the rest of our morning here, I mean, it's a beautiful morning. This is great. I would love it if more teal dumped, and they might, and we could regret it, and we might be like, man, what the heck. But my dove senses are tingling, okay, folks? We've seen, I don't know, five or six and sit here. They don't decoy for crap over here, but you saw in the first opening video hunting the new lake, we did come out here and dove hunt for a little bit after we didn't shoot those at the new lake. We saw a lot. Now that we kind of know how to set up on them and it's also early it's 7 15 i bet we can get out there and be shooting them by 7 45 at the latest versus when we got here last night i think it was like 10 it's still somewhat early so we're gonna go ahead and pick up all these decoys i know it's gonna get cut short but i have no hope at all whatsoever that we're gonna see any more teal and i have more faith we're gonna shoot doves and i'm here to, for catch clean cook purposes and lucy's here for retrieval purposes we don't do any good if we just sit here and don't shoot any that being said let's get everything picked up loaded into the side by side and go shoot some doves you guys stay tuned all right, we made it. We are going dove hunting. We are at the dove tree. Dreams are made of. There's a bunch of doves. Wow, there was one, yeah. two, three. Bro, we might get them. So we're at this tree. We changed. We got in a little lighter. This is actually, hang on. Can you, you do me a favor? You want to hold this real quick? I'm wearing the September shirt of the month. Look at oh, this. So the lighting's better. Look at that. Big wood duck guy. September shirt of the month. So if you guys remember at the beginning of the video, we were talking about it. You go cop this shirt right now. Link down below. You automatically get entered to win this side by side. And every single month you're subscribed, meaning if you stay subscribed from September, October, November, December, January, February, March, seven entries into winning the side by side. So once you sign up every single month that you get a new shirt, every shirt that you get equals an automatic entry to win this guy. So we literally just came from hunting. Now you can kind of see it better. Look at the rig. I love the decoys right there because they dry off, like they don't get all muddy and they leave room in the bed. Anyways, enough blabbering. We're going to get our dove stuff set out. We don't have the dove tree today. We got some spinners and whatnot. Lucy's with us now still, obviously. And and uh, maybe we can get a couple birds down. Stay tuned. Well, got the spinner set out. Locking and loaded some 
target loads. For some reason, I like that better than the tree. What about you? Yeah, I'm digging it. Tree sounds cool and all, but I don't know. Maybe that looks better. I guess I'm not a dove. I'm pissed because I bought a dove call last night. It's in my truck. I guess it goes <laughs> something like that. Yeah. How do you do it better? How do you do it? You just kind of like bounce your throat. Big bounce of throat guy? You're good at that, huh? Too bad Bandit's not here. He'd be calling all of them in. Well, let's see if we can get some doves down on the ground for Lucy to chase. What do you think, buddy? She's ready. There was two of them. I, well, how does that, why I, does that happen? I don't know. I was just like, I'm just gonna, sh I'm done not shooting. If it comes within thinkable distance, it's fun. I don't care anymore. <laughs> they literally landed right above us. I didn't notice in time. Right here, right here, right here. Damn it. That one was a little far, but there's two more on the yep, right. Yeah. We had two land in the tree above us. Awesome here. I look up and they're right there. By the time I got my gun up, it's too late. One flew by, that was way too far. But if you saw the first duck video, we did come dove hunt here and I, Lucy, it didn't, it didn't die in this, I'm sorry. I passed up so many shots that I'm like, I'm just spr spraying and praying. Ducks long range choking. We can make it happen. Gotta get them a little closer. And I gotta shoot a little better. See him a little sooner. <laughs> See him a little sooner. But that was 30 minutes of nothing, not a bird. And all of a sudden, boom, landed in the tree, swinging around. Lucy, th did you see a bird drop? Me neither. So shush. You, no, you got, there's no bird. I know you're pissed. You were supposed to see the bird. You were on up top, up high there. I blame you. That's a good sign. Just gotta get him to come a little closer. Oh my God. Buddy, I feel like I'm leading him good. You think that was shootable? Am I sucking or yeah, was no, it? I so I suck, is that what you're saying? Well, I, mean. I feel like I led that one well. Gun kept moving. Just one floating by. No, we did Lucy, because you whine doesn't mean they die. I don't know where I'm off. I'm leading them like, maybe not enough. I don't know. Got that long range choking, so I know I got the distance, but you gotta be right on the money. Lucy, I <laughs> I can't make them die. She's pissed. She's pissed. She's like, you better not miss one more. I'm not sure what to tell you, folks. It's hard to tell if I'm leading them enough or too little or too late. Or I yeah, said so that one I was like, I took my time on. I was swinging, put it right in front of it, squeezed. So no one would really know until you knock one down. Like, oh, I was doing that wrong. So this next one, I'm gonna lead a little bit more and see what happens. Bro, I, I don't want to tell you. <laughs> I don't want to tell you right there. They landed. They almost landed. Yeah. <laughs> I was on this side, and then all of a sudden I'm like, wait, they're not coming. And I swung. Had to make sure I go over you. <laughs> I, I, that I don't want to tell you there. There's two swinging. I don't know. Oh, wait, oh. come on, come on, dude. Give me one more shot. I got it. We got one. Lucy, we got one. <laughs> She's ready to go. Finally, bro. Oh my God. Fetch up. Fetch up. I knew I'd, re I just said, if they come over, I'll redeem myself. I almost got two with one. Almost got the clap. Yeah. It was close. She's got it. Yep. Good girl. Here, here. Bring it. Here. Let me see it. Fetch up. Good. Little dovey. Sheesh. About time, Lucy. I know, I suck nuts, don't I, buddy? Wow. This is so hard, because I'm sitting here, and if they go right, I gotta shoot over your yeah. head. So I just put my gun up to the left, and I was like, if they come left, I've got it, and I was on them. If they go right, I'm tough, because I gotta- You gotta refine them. The tree and you are tricky. Those I would've shot right here, yeah. but I'd literally blown your head off. So I'm trying to go around oh. you. <sighs> Finally, buddy. Sheesh. I don't know what I did different on that one. I didn't lead them. I think the difference was they weren't going left and right real fast. It was more of a flutter kind of right at mm -hmm. us. So I didn't they're have decoying to. decoying decently. Like De decent, yeah. I've seen it. Were the two the same that landed here and I shot in, or was that just coincidence there's two of them again? You think they're that dumb? I don't know. What are you whining? You did what you're supposed to do. I only killed. She's like, you should have killed. I saw two. You suck. I saw two. You got them, though. You did good. I just got to get better at shooting these suckers. Oh, I almost blew it. I almost blew it. Well, I was trying not to shoot the neighbor's house. That's why I waited. Yeah. Because also I'm looking in my sights, I'm like, oh, the neighbor's house is right there. Like, I don't think it would get there, but you just never know. Dude, that one did it, did it. I was so pissed, dude. <laughs> After that second shot, I'm like, no, no, don't blow it. Fetch up. She's close. Dead bird. 
think it's a little further. It floated. That one did it, bro. I was just waiting and waiting, and then I, it's just like one of those, like, I suck, honestly. I'm bad. I'm just not in the zone. That last one was clutch. That was a clutch shot. Normally, those are ones you miss, that yeah. last one. Yes, I know. This is a long range. Like, we're working on this is a prototype, by the way. This is the first one we came out with, because I usually shoot full chokes. But for this, you really need a mod, or maybe, honestly, an IC. Would probably a mod for Dove, just because you get a little more distance on them sometimes, but. Oh, she got it. Here, fetch up. Here. Here, all the way. All the way, fetch. Good. Look at that guy. Big fluff. Hee. Good, good. No, you don't get to play with him. Good, no, no. You did what you needed to do. Good girl, Luz. No, hey, this is what you get. You bring me a bird, you get a donut. Did you even shoot that? Yeah, that was almost an oopsie moment. That one landed on the power line and Zach was watching it and I was just watching the other side and he's like, it's coming and it landed on top of the spinner. Yeah. I'm like, don't shoot the house. Hey, don't shoot the spinner. And then after that, it was just- You better shoot. I better start shooting. We need to get our prototype mod, I think would help me a little bit. Full's not bad. I do like shooting full because you can snipe, but those close shots, it makes them real. I mean, your pattern's like that. It's real, real, real tough. Anyways, Lucy, good job, buddy. We got two doves. Well, it's 9 a.m. folks. It's getting toasty. It's like the last warm day of this hopefully the year, but Lucy you, you can't whine buddy You did good and you got donuts. I Don't know what you want me to do. I don't just produce birds. I can't just wave my magic bird wand. You got four Hey, that's better than some dogs today. I'm sure I don't know what to do about this dude. This is new. I don't know what this means. You're mad I'm not shooting more or you want another donut or I really don't know what you want. How about this? You want a popper? <laughs> Oh, you want to, oh, just give me the damn popper. Well, we got to go cook it. Hey, we got to cook it. Okay, we are going to go home. We got two dove, two teal, and we are going to do jalapeno, cream cheese, teal, and uh, bacon wrapped poppers. Do we give everyone the satisfaction of us using a grill or do we eat panini in? What do you think? Or, or do you pre-cook the bacon so the bacon's crispy? What do you think? Should we mix it up? I said we pre-cook it. Pre-cook it? Works, yeah. I think if you just cook the bacon, like even just bake it or fry it or whatever, I guess you do with bacon, you probably put on like a baking sheet on the grill. If we put it on the grill and we pre-cook it, then the grill's already hot. So I'll do you guys a favor. I'll do you a favor, damn it. I'll use the big grill. I won't use my panini press for you. Some of you guys haters out there, even though my panini press is exceptional compared to your grill, we'll pre-cook the bacon on a baking sheet on the grill. That way the grill's already hot. Once the bacon starts to kind of get brown and cooked, we will wrap the popper in it and then finish cooking the bacon with the meat and the cream cheese and the pepper and all that stuff like that and see if we can make some good jalapeno poppers you guys stay tuned Shoo! we made it folks Lucy, you did good buddy give me some knucks that's what i'm saying macy's on cut pepper duty wait are you, are you gonna ask how we want it cut or are you just cutting i don't know i'm just cutting it how i cut it you may I thought that was a dove. Dove senses are still tingling. Okay, you do that one this way. I've got a better idea for the next ones. Cause that, that's- Oh yeah, I'm sure it's better. Is that supposed to be one popper? By the way, we couldn't find a jalapeno, so I'll throw that out there. Well, you could like that's cut big, them. That's a big ass bite. You can cut them in half. Where's your cream cheese gonna end up? Well, how is it gonna work any better with your way? Give me a second. I got a better idea here. So we're gonna try pre-cooking bacon. We've got the grill fired up. We got a cast iron here. We're gonna lay some bacon out and try to pre-cook it. It's like halfway. If we can get some real crispy bacon, I'd be happy. It would make my day if we get some real crispy bacon. So we're gonna go ahead and load this sucker up with as much bacon as we can. I'd like to get some more. I might try squeezing. Yeah, now we're talking. I don't care if there's a little curl there, it don't matter. Now we're talking, get a little bit more. That is the longest bacon. Yeah, I know, this is super long. <laughs> Lengthy guy. There, I could probably even squeeze, potentially, Maybe? another half. It'll work, we'll make it work. So bacon, we're going over here. Shoo, yee! It's on freaking hot as hell mode, so we'll see how that goes. I don't think I have this thing put together right, but that's right. So bacon's on. Never cooked bacon on a grill before. Okay, you wanna see my idea? I got an idea. That's a beefy. You can cut it. No, but your cream cheese will spill. You ever put cream cheese on a grill? It gets everywhere. Maybe you should put them on the cast iron on the grill. You ready for this moment? Look. Oh. <laughs> that. It's your little cups. Those are your cups. They'll hold your cream cheese. Look, they're little cups. What cup. did you, you just drop? A pepper. You got four more. So you put your cream cheese in there. You put your meat on top, and then you wrap it and bake. I feel like that's a no. And then just one biter. That's all you need. I mean, you could make them smaller if you cut down. I think these ones actually might turn out good. What do you got going on there? Well, you want to cut out some of the meat. The meat? I don't know if peppers have meat. Like the fleshy Why? white. Well, you don't really want to eat that. That's what holds my cheese. Well, it's not very good. Okay. All right, so we got cream cheese, which we don't really need for a while, but let's go ahead and just get it unboxed here. Feels pretty melted already, so that's good. We're not sure if peppers are gonna need extra cooking. You think jalapenos need more. That's soft. Is that melted? 
What is the deal there? I just feel like that. Feels I don't like, know. Feels like it's just like milk in a bag. How long ago did you buy it? Uh, 12 minutes. You need to put it in the freezer for a minute? Do I mean, it just... Do we have cream cheese? Uh, I don't think so. Right. Another way I do it is Let's I hear. just spread it on the bacon. On the outside or like, the inside? While the bacon's laid out, yeah. spread it on the bacon. That way it's not it. a clump, so it doesn't... Uh, yeah, it's fine. Is it not bad? Okay, no. It's not bad. I've always Cut done it where you just... chunks. You and take a chunk and then put a chunk in there, right? And then do that. Okay, so... God, your hands are disgusting. I literally, I literally just wash them. You need like a scrubby, but not be eating from those uh, hands. I'm done with this. All right, so we're gonna do that, that. I'm digging the little pocket that we got going on here. You like that idea? You tell me I gotta cut this little white thing though? I'm sorry, do you wanna eat that? Mm, that you can eat it if you want. I'd be even worse. It's kind of a big boy. I'm not sure about that one. I kind of like my first one, first one's better. It's like to uh, Tostito scoops. Scoop. They like little scoops. Yours are nice, they're just. Thanks. Should we check on that bacon and make sure it's not burning? You think it's burning? <laughs> <laughs> or too crispy to roll it up? Oh, oh okay. No, nah, she's getting it still. We got a lot of time. It's on high, so it's going to take a minute. Probably should have put the cast iron on first. And let it heat it up. Heat I up. thought of that after I put it on. So, so maybe you could keep some of these and try them. I mean, these will work if you do what you're saying, which is just spread it. We yeah. could always cook them on a sheet, too. So that way your cream cheese don't like I think it'd be possible to build it, set it on a bacon strip, wrap it while it's on the, the cast iron and just leave it? Or do you think we gotta pull them all off? Why would I'd you... pull them all off. Yeah. Because we were gonna cook it on the cast iron. Well, yeah, but what's the advantage of doing that? You don't have to take off the bacon? So well, you, you can keep the it the on bacon. there and just pull it out of the grill. Do whatever you do. But I'm saying like, just place the popper and then just tumble yeah. it, right? Yeah. And then toothpick it. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Anyways, I wish we just had jalapenos. So that'd make life a little bit easier, but bell peppers are gonna have to do. We also got a little bit of that all meat so we get some seasoning. <laughs> Excuse me? Did I miss him? It was a huge bee. Was it huge? Because I didn't see a bee. I feel like you're overreacting. So anyways, it did not look once like the bacon gets bee. somewhat crispy, we'll start assembling our poppers. Show you guys a strap. We got dove, teal, and we'll see what they taste like. You guys stay tuned. Boom! We got ducks all meat seasoning. Here's the spread. Those are your two ducks. And then the teal, we split lengthwise. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them on these little suckers, and then we're gonna put the dove in my little scoops. But you gotta season them up. Isn't that right, Lucy? No one likes unseasoned meat. We got all meat going in real hot. Pack it in, dab up the extras, because you got a lot of spillage. Pack it in real nice, roll it around. That's how you properly season like it. You like that technique? Tony, it'll be the greatest tasting meat. Are you gonna try one today? No. Bruh, <laughs> why? It's gonna be fire. We're actually trying. We're pre-cooking the bacon. I mean, we're putting in some effort today. We actually got the real grill out, not the panini press. We're trying to step up our game. You're pulling out all the stops. That's what I was thinking. So we'll do a scoop. And we're not pre-cooking peppers. You're just going for it. You big crunch guy, just going for it? Sure. All right, got your cream cheese. How much cream cheese do you like? I like a lot. Like that? Yeah. Fill, basically fill it. Fill that hole. Fill that hole. Take your meat. It's a lot of pepper, to be honest with you. I'm not. It is. Your ratio is off. It is. Yeah, uh, I was. Your ratio is off a lot. Bell peppers are just a lot thicker. Yeah, it's just, it's just a thick boy, you know. Should I try cutting it in half? That's better. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Oh, that but all your cream cheese is gonna spill out, huh? Uh, I'll wrap it in bacon. Then we do. <laughs> I like this ratio. Better. The ratio we had going on before was a little much. What do we think about this? Let's pre-game it. All right, cream cheese and the long daddy. These are gonna be so good. Oh, dude, I'm stoked. If you guys really like seasoning, you can season on the cream cheese, too. I've seen people do that. They just... I've seen people smoke cream cheese, like put it in a smoker. Wouldn't it just melt? No? It doesn't. That's gonna be your- That's a good ratio. I like that ratio. Yeah, 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 Like, this one's a little better. They get a little bit big. So, you just gotta do whatever you wanna do. Slather some cream cheese in there. Can't ever go wrong. I mean, normally, it's nice because your jalapeno's spicy, so your cream cheese kind of helps with that. So, this isn't really gonna have much spice. I like jalapenos better just because I like a little bit of kick to it. But these will work. These will have to do. So, another piece of meat. Sit it right there. So, we're gonna go ahead and assemble all these. Bacon's almost done. We're gonna pull it off, set it down, attempt to wrap hot bacon, and then put it back on until the meat's cooked and take them off and enjoy. You gotta stay tuned. Shoo! Look at that bacon, buddy. All right, we got these pre made, pre ready to go. Let's start with the long daddy. So, this is. God, how are we gonna. How Use the tongs. Use the tongs. How we do? How are you rolling, though? Grab the other tongs. See, I'm not sure about this pre cooked bacon thing, because this is just a. Well, you'd probably normally let it. You're just asking. Cool you're just asking it to get hurt. Here. There. You got it. So, now use the tongs, lift it up. This bacon got a little over done, did, I think. See, I'm not. I don't like this technique. I don't. This is a terrible idea. There you go. Like, look how much work this is. This ain't it. I mean, it looks... Maybe we just do this round with pre-cooked and do some without pre-cooked and compare it to. It's just too much work, dude. It's gonna be good. You just can't wrap them the way you need to wrap them. Yeah. Go ahead and do it again. <laughs> God, this is... This is a <laughs> show, to be 
honest. <laughs> do you want me to? Yeah, stab it, please. <laughs> Why did you do that? You just wrapped it in the same spot. You know what? You do this. This is bull. <laughs> I've never been so frustrated in my life trying to get this stupid ass. Now we got full crispy ass bacon on this one. You ever heard people tell you to like try tying your shoes without thumbs to show you how important your thumbs are? No. I feel like this is like trying to tie your <laughs> shoes without thumbs. I want to. I want to quit. How hot is this? Really hot? Yeah. <laughs> this is dumb. This is so stupid. I just want to punch a wall. Why are you so angry? You don't understand how frustrating. Like you're like Look you're at this. Shit. It's just falling everywhere. It's sliding everywhere. It's falling everywhere. This doesn't make any freaking sense. I don't get it. I don't. Hey, Flair, you should pre-cook your bacon next time. <laughs> Whoever said that, you. Off. <laughs> God, this is. <laughs> what the f is that? What is that? What is that? I don't know what it is. It looks stupid. This whole thing is stupid. All for a freaking regular grill. Yeah, see, if I had my panini press, I wouldn't be dealing with this bull. Why are you so angry? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. I don't like this. Here's what we're doing. We're doing this the right way. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you're supposed to do. Are you using that piece? Uh, maybe. Look how much more sense this makes. Tell me how much more sense this makes. <laughs> you know how it would get crispy? It's if I put it on my damn panini press. But no! Flair, use a real grill! Be a man! Look where that got me. Ugh. I don't know why. This is just the most frustrating thing I've tried to do in a long time. This is how I think we should do it. Just like this. The pre-cooked bacon was a good thought. It's really hard to execute. These look good. They're gonna taste good. Life will be good. You eating my bacon? <laughs> Oh, crispy. Is it? I'm glad it's already crispy. I have to cook <laughs> meat. Thank God. Flair, pre cook your bacon. Well, you probably cooked it for too long. All right. We're going to roll with this for now. We still got some more teal, but let's just, just get these damn things on the grill. All right. Ones that are already fully cooked and ones that are completely rare are going to go in at the same time. Should I just put it up here? I don't know if that's going to work. I have no idea. Like, my morale is. If I was on a panini press, I'd be already taking a nap. I would have eaten, I would have showered, I would be in my bed sleeping by now. But no, 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 get Big Daddy Grill out and pre-cook the bacon. Uh, that's what happens when I listen to you guys. I'm, just, I'm giving you a hard time. I just, I thought this was gonna work. It's not really working. Dude, the bacon's good. I'm just gonna take a cut of the meat. I'll reassemble it if it's good. Oh God, yeah. Let's put it back together. The meat's done, so, I mean, we didn't burn the bacon. Could have been worse. Maybe the pre-cook was the deal because we got real crispy bacon going on right now. It's a lot more work trying to build it, but we're going for Shove it. Shove it Probably the best pop I've ever had. Really? I've never had poppers with crispy bacon, and it's really good. I'm gonna pull the rest of them off. All right, the rest of these guys are cooking away. Sheesh. The crispiness, look at that. It looks good. Are you gonna shove one of these in your mouth? What are you thinking? Sure, cut one in half. Oh yeah, meat's cooked, you're good. You want Big Daddy? Sure. They're still too thick, so just be, oh, don't lose your bacon now. Did that see? But I'm guessing the flavor that you're about to experience right now is gonna be one that you enjoy. How hot is that? Oh. <laughs> we just took a 450 degree grill. Probably should've let that one go. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, my, it's good. <laughs> I, I have some water. Dude. Holy no. God. <laughs> that was brutal. It was good. Though. I didn't think it'd be that hot for some reason, but it definitely was. <laughs> we'll let this cool down. But the yeah. crispy bacon was good, though. No. Oh yeah. Maybe we gotta do something in between, where it's like don't cook it as much. You need like the gloves that you can use. They're thin, but they you can handle heat. Because if you could tightly wrap like the oh. half cooked bacon, I think that would be. But we'll let this cool down before dude, we eat the rest. That's what do you think? teal too, and that was yeah way better. Because I had the dove, it, it tastes like steak. It, yeah. So yeah. we'll let this cool down and taste this piece, and then I don't know if the rest of them will turn out. We'll let you know. Shoo! Look at that. They look okay. Look at the mess we made. We got splatter up in this joint. We got all the cast iron. All, I mean, that doesn't look appetizing. I'm sure it'll taste good. That looks a little odd. But we got the bacon done. We cooked it so the bacon's crispy. This is the one we haven't eaten yet. So we can at least compare this one, which was pre-cooked to not pre-cooked. I mean, your peppers are going to be less crunchy, which might be good, I guess. We'll let them cool off and see which one we like better. Pre-cooked versus not pre-cooked. All right, so this is the cooked bacon teal. Last one. Okay, meat's looking good. Oh god, I just about ate that. Too thick? Yeah. We need to make them smaller next time. Yeah. That was half. I want like poppers. Yeah. Like literal circles. 
Dude, that's good. As much of a pan was to make, that crispy bacon's super good. So now, we'll just do the dough since I already ate the other dough. This is the non-pre-cooked bacon, but it got cooked. Look how, yeah, the you pep soft pepper. Ooh. What do you think? I'm definitely giving it to the non-pre-cooked. Really? The so yeah, yes. Dude, the soft pepper, it's not like soggy. I don't mind a little snap, a little crunch. The one, it got cooked longer. That was like 30 minutes. So I'm sure the smoke from the grill helped. You ate it before, you took a bite and it's like, yep, that's pepper, that's cream cheese, that's duck or dove, and that's bacon. This, I'm guessing since it cooked so long, everything kind of meshed yeah. and it all tastes fire. We've talked about this before. You could pick this up and hand it to somebody, total stranger, your neighbor, whatever. What? You're saying we could hand this to a stranger and they wouldn't know it's duck. Are you gonna help me with that to prove that theory or no? I'm pregnant. <laughs> what the hell does that have to do with anything? Talk about organic meat. That's what the pioneers ate, I'm sure. Maybe. Look how many of them died. Red. All right, you wanna get in there, son? So you can eat that or you could just base it off your previous bite. It's up to you what yeah, you want. Base off okay. Previous. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Dude, that might be the deal. Hopefully this one don't scorch your mouth like the other one. Thing about that. But you seem like you kind of like the crunch of the pepper, mm -hmm. but do you? Oh, you said it. It's all, it's one. all one. You could have taken the pepper out and it would have probably tased like bacon because it also sat in that bacon grease and cooked oh, for 30 minutes. Like, yeah, I'm going that. All yeah, day. I think pre cook's a big mistake in the meat. I'm sure, technically, I'm sure it's overcooked. Yeah. Technically. To be honest, you don't even know there's duck no. in there. Here, actually, oh, this Happy that's going to be, that'll be the piece that tells me, oh, that's going to be, that's a little straight duck. So here's what I'll do. Why don't I slice this? Oh, we got toothpicks in here. Hang on now. Okay, okay. That's a good chunk of meat. So that should be able to taste the duck on that one a little better. It is a mess. Bro, oh my God. Pre-cook has nothing on this. I'm not gonna take back what I said. Panini or die. But if you're going for maximum flavor, and I think it's key we put it in the cast iron. Because if that was on a normal grill, you would lose your drippings. But I think it's soaking in that bacon grease. The pepper, the meat, the cream cheese. I mean, you were talking about like smoked cream cheese. Yeah. I could literally just take this cream cheese. And it tastes fire. It doesn't taste like normal cream cheese. It tastes like smoky, bacon-infused cream cheese. So if you're making this for people and you want it to taste the best possible, you're not in a rush, I would do non-pre-cooked, maybe pre-cooked, but just a little bit, just a hair, put it on the grill, a smoker, put it on a cast iron so it, all the juices stay. And I think that is the superior popper. I don't think I've ever eaten a popper that's got that much flavor. You don't even taste this meat. Bro. Well, and cook it till the bacon's done. Don't worry about yes. overcooking it or anything. No, I just ate straight up a piece of meat. Again, I'm sure it was overcooked. Now, if you're gonna eat it with some type of sauce, like a medium rare steak, you gotta make sure it's medium rare. Otherwise it kind of whatever, but this thing could be super dry, but it's been soaked in so much. It's almost like jerky at this point. Like it could literally dry out and it's gonna taste amazing because it's been soaked in all the juices. Between dove and teal, it's a no brainer. Dove always wins. But even though I, I'm a fan of the real crispy bacon, but the flavor overall, goes to the non-pre-cooked, completely rare bacon with the pepper and whatever, because the pepper's soft. Anyways, we've talked enough about it. You guys get the point. Hopefully you guys got something out of it. Flavor-wise, if you're not in a hurry, this is probably the best teal I've ever had. It took a long time, and we've been out here for over an hour. Take some time, folks. If you got a minute, this is the way to do it. But anyways, hopefully you guys at home enjoyed today's video. I know we didn't shoot a bunch of birds, but we got a harvest down on the ground for lunch. The ranch was for deer hunting. It wasn't for duck hunting. So it was kind of one of those, like, it could work. Maybe it doesn't work, and we've shot some doves, which is good. But remember, linked down below this is the shirt of the month for september right here so if you guys you guys already seen it but if you're watching this in october or november or december or january it's not too late anytime you're watching this you go sign up every month that you get the shirt is an additional extra entry to win the side-by-side -side that you saw with all the lights. Like I said, I'm low-key upset we have to give it away, but I'm willing to do it because I said I would. Things over $40,000. It literally worth more than, actually, yeah, it is worth more than your car. Like, I literally paid more for that than I did her brand new Jeep, which just blows my mind. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Link down below, shirt of the month. Everything else on the website is still available. We've got the poly calls that are $40. The call that you heard me blow is 40 bucks today. We still have some cup ducks. We're running out of cup ducks hoodies. So if you guys are like a smaller or medium size, I think that's all we might have left. But we've got hats and a bunch of other stuff. So everything Ducks Waterfowl will be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you next time.